you think God stays in heaven because he too lives in fear of what he's created? You clicked on the video, what did you expect? So today, dear boys and girls, we explore a several decade old question that parted nations. Who is the sexiest Sonic character? Hmm, if you said the titular main character himself, you go now back to deviant art where you belong. He is no such space for you on this Christian Minecraft server. Now let's go back to pimpifying Eggman. Since this, you know, is a repaint. Yeah, I wouldn't have known either. I start by ripping off her head. Clean the face paint off with acetone and cut the hair. An extreme spa, so to say. The basic prep is done once I cut the head open and remove all the leftover glue that was inside. Now to why I actually decided to create this insult to good taste. The great Akin from His Name is Akin decided to host a collab where we turn video game characters into their true sexy selves. And you might ask yourself, well, the characters must have been chosen randomly, right? <laughs> no. There are hundreds of different video game characters with a vast backstory or an extremely loyal fanbase. And I chose Eggman. I got tested, I swear. You might think, why am I looking at a pair of boobs when I came here for the eggplant? I do have minus five male dolls, that's why. So I have to make shift with what I have, which is an abundance of broken female dolls. Eggman himself wears a big red coat and black pants that cover his entire body, which is bad. We want to see that egg. Everyone agree. My concept now reduces all of this to as little as possible to let us see as much as possible. With exception of the arms, of course, they shall be covered, you weirdos. On a side note, Eggman is over 50 and close to 60, and since I didn't want to scope some saggly old tits, I made up that this gender band version of him is just really into face masks. Yeah, let's go with that. I just gonna start with the most controversial part of this repaint. The eyes. Humpty Dumpty doesn't really like to show his eyes. There are some iterations where you could see them, but are they really what I want? So I went whatever and thought about this gender band version as a super secret skin in an unreleased Lost Smash game. And you should too. Let's talk a bit about Eggman and why he is the greatest Sonic character. These are only facts and you should get used to them. Remember the first time you got introduced to the Sonic franchise? Was it through a game maybe or a TV series? I first saw this hunk of a man in 2003 in Sonic X when there was still Chetix around. Yes, we European folks got all our anime goodness from Chetix. Don't laugh. I love this guy. He was evil, ruthless, a serious threat to society, but yet so goofy and lovable. A perfect, well executed combo. I'm not looking at anyone particular here. <coughs> Sonic Boom. <coughs> but in recent years, he has gone down worse than a child actor. In Sonic Adventure, for example, he used an ancient god to remodel a city to his own likings. And in some other older games, he has ships, robots, and everything's blasted with his face. Just true insanity, but it's never treated as a joke. The PJ show has a great video about that, which I 100% agree with. Eggman has just become a laughing stock in the past almost decade. And the live action version just added on top of that. That's why I decided to kinda use Eggman's propensity to drama and gave this version a really, really dramatic eye makeup and deep red lips. Since Eggman doesn't really have eyebrows, but more weirdly eye flaps, I gave her really pointy and over the top eyebrows that will be visible once she wears her glasses. I also used blue for the eyes. Yeah, scream at me in the comments for this. I like the look of them and they are quite dark, so it's not that dramatic. Not as dramatic as you not liking this video and subscribing to my channel. Haha! <laughs> Ha 
I decided to employ a new method of drawing the upper lashes to make them look more 3D. Instead of drawing them just straight on top like the lower lashes you just saw before, I draw them into the eye. It doesn't look that bad, I like it. After the paint wouldn't add up anymore, I used my acrylics to bring the last coat of paint of the whites of the eye and detail the areas just a tad bit more. I will be covering them up completely by the glasses, why do I make them so much work? And now let's put in some eye shines to make her alive. Like she needs it. I have been looking at the soulless anime face for just too long. I really, really wanted her to be bold at first, because I wanted to actually make a guy. But the more I looked at her and the more I absolutely hated it. So I just glued on some quite short hair, a pixie cut. For this I used some fairy tale wool, don't ask me what it is, it's probably fur from a pegasus. Where else would the fairy tale come from? Remember her spotless face? Here she now has a glue stain that can't be fixed. Fantastic! And this is just the beginning. You will see me descend into absolute madness on how much this doll tried to not come to existence. Like she knew she would be an abomination of the internet. Now that she has hair, I can close the eyes. Don't want no hair in the cloth. And now a tragedy in four parts. Part 1. The Warbler Glasses I measured and cut the frame out of the warbler, which I would later glue on metal rings, paint with black and blue and fill it with resin and cure them in the sun, since my UV light just so conveniently just broke. This took around 4 hours. And do you know what happened then? 30 seconds later, the wind blew the parts of the table into the grass. That's all I have left. The rest is gone. Part 2. I remade the warbler glasses. I don't even have footage of this. They broke. Part 3. The not curing metal glasses. Yeah, they wouldn't cure. Part 4. I ended up with these. Don't even talk to me about them anymore. Now let's start on the body. Since the doll didn't come with any hands, I thought I might write Mattel to ask them if they still had any. Maybe they knew what I was going to do with them. So I stole them from other doll. Somewhere on Instagram I saw a video floating around of heating up doll hands with hot water and then bending them to your liking to get them into a more natural shape. Guess how well that worked. I cut the fingers off and attached them again with epoxy clay. I formed a glove looking shape and painted them with around 5 coats of watered down acrylic paint. Short intermission to present you the members of this collaboration. His name is Akin with Bowser and what a Bowser he is. Volkit this word with Link. Blurred colors art with the Piranha plant. Stitch recreations with Sexy Roth. Sky the Golden with Sammy. OAK Nora with Hornet. Munyakita Cat with Megara. Yours truly with Sexy Humpty Dumpty, Harley's Dollhouse with Rouge the Bat, H. Ellie Crafts with Nico, Uni Dolls with Rift Scuttler, and Artisan with Amaterasu. Check out the videos as well, but only after you finish mine. And then you can decide who would win in a bikini bro. All my bets are on Bowser, but don't tell everyone. So back to this un egg shaped body. As much as I love her strong, muscular legs, they don't really come close to the greatness that are Eggman's spaghetti legs. He might have skipped one or two leg days. To combat this, I gonna cut them off. I mark the areas that need to go and bring out my trusty mini Dremel, just to find out that her legs are in fact not hollow. Totally. Gotta bring out the big boys now. The deed is done, now to re-sculpt them again. I use my trusty epoxy sculpt without gloss because I like to live dangerously and form the legs rounder and to be more like 
a thick penne. Not to the main attraction, the only one to fall her body, right? Here they are, nice and perky. I don't think any of the other dolls in this collab wear any kind of underwear, so why should mine? After that I can start building up her egg-shaped body. I didn't go full on round for a reason, mainly because there is a really thin line between looking like an egg and looking pregnant. I went to the side of the internet and I don't want to go back. Her small feet are not what I imagined her to wear. I want her to wear ridiculously large and long high heeled boots. So I slapped some epoxy on her feet and realized that it's not going to work. So I cut her feet off and replaced them with wire. Here are what her gloves look like, fully covered. And here is how her boots came out. I wanted to film how I made them, but I lost the footage for them. You didn't miss anything, just me almost freaking out because the clay just wouldn't stay in place. And here is her body. You see, it's egg-shaped, just a small one. Time to paint the boots black. Now I think it's time to paint her body and sew her clothes, right? No, it's time to flood the table and destroy everything that's on there, including my memory card. So no body painting for me and you. It's not like you have never seen someone's mother paint on a weirdly shaped piece of plastic, right? While you think about how paint a flesh colored eggplant, welcome to the sexiest version of Eggman to your list. You don't have a choice. Realistic Eggman, F tier, what the heck is this? Sonic X Eggman, absolutely A tier, he's perfect. Evil Eggman, B tier. Original Eggman, absolutely E tier, what the heck is this? Actual female Eggman, E tier. Politically incorrect Eggman, E tier. Nipple Eggman, B tier, he's perfect, just not enough. Actual original Eggman. C tier, whole dancing Eggman, absolutely S tier, he's perfection. Sedam Eggman, D tier, my god who designed this. Square Eggman, I think you missed the point, D tier. Muscle Eggman, B tier. No. Now since I'm a really talented sewer, I used some foil and wrap it around her leg just to get her measurements. I cut it open, trace it on some old fabric, I think that are my father's pants, cut it out and sew it onto her leg. She won't be able to take them off. I want this lower part to be a bit more fluffed up, so I stuffed in some fabric with my comb. And to really cement in the feeling of her being overly, overly dramatic, I paint the soles dark red. Eggman red. These two scenes are the only thing left from the big flood. One where I cut out her sleeves and one where I make a zipper. Here's a little sneak peek, so I guess it's time for the grand reveal. is ridiculous and that's why I love her. Everything about her is just so over the top, extremely sexy and unexpected. 
I hope you like her as much as me and you go and check out the other members of this collab. All links are in the description. Don't forget to like and subscribe because this only shows me that you like my content and I should do more of it. Anyway, thank you all for watching. Ciao ciao!